Hey guys, this is Josiah with Mock Motion, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration of our conversational assistant for you. This is a new um, wizard package that we have on our current version of Control. If this is not something you currently have and you're interested, give us a call and we'll get you set up. Um, but so this is Alexis is our software package that we're selling with our mill controls, and I'm just going to do a simple walk through this and do some drilling and a pocketing operation. So I'm going to start with a vertical uh, setup. I'm going to use our standard origin. I'm going to select my material to be aluminum and I can set up what I want my initial stock geometry to be. So I'm going to set my origin to center of my stock and my height and width as six inches. And now I'm going to start doing my operations to this stock. So I'm going to select that I want to do a drilling operation, do a circular pattern off of my origin as center. I'm going to just pull this out so I can visualize what I've got and then I'm going to run maybe a two inch radius on this operation and I'm going to do four holes with a zero degree start angle. So that just gives me four holes in a perfect circular pattern there. Then I'm going to select that I want to use a quarter inch drill. Okay. Set my diameter to 0.25. I'm going to run my depth all the way through the material down to one point uh, one two five just to drive the tip of it through. I'm going to take a look at that geometry and I can see where the where the tip of the drill is coming just through geometry. I'm going to run a center drill on the same thing. I'm going to do a depth of 0.125 and I'm going to select a center drill number four. Um, then I'm going to select this geometry and this will operation and that'll be a become a part of my job tree here. Now I can sort these operations in any order. The way it default came out of there, it had my drilling operation first and then my center drill. But I can move any of these up or down in my operation tree, or I can simply say that I want to sort these in logical order. And it will automatically sort everything in the order that it ought to be run to complete those geometries. So at this point I'm going to show you a simple pocketing operation. I'm going to do a circle with the center once again on our origin. I'm going to pull it out so I can see what I've got. And then I'm going to set my radius to uh, one inch radius is the pocket I want to do and then I want to run a depth of half an inch halfway through this material and then I'm going to go to my roughing here and select that I want to do helical step plunge so between each step of this operation I'm going to do a helical operation down um, so I'm happy with that and then I'm going to put a chamfering operation on the top edge of this whole, whole piece and I'm going to select a chamfer depth of let's say 0.125 again. I'm going to really take that corner off and select my tool to be this 45 degree insert tool. Okay. I'm happy with this pocket at this point. I'm going to select OK and then I can go back to my stock and run a simulation through this entire part. You can see the center drilling, the through bolt drilling, and I can see the pocketing with the helical plunge mode and then a final chamfer operation on that pocket. I'll select OK and then when I generate code from uh, the conversational here I can give it a name but I'm just going to use the defaults here click generate g-code and this g-code gets auto loaded into Mach 4 and then our um, CNC software here is ready to go. I've got the g-code in, I've got a tool path that I can view, I can kind of see where I'm at. My yellow is where my current tool is and I can press cycle start and away we go. We're drilling these these operations and this um, part is ready to run. So this was a simple demonstration of Alexis, our conversational programming package and if you are interested in more give us a call and we'll get you started. Thanks so much.